Hey y'all, it's your girl Keish. Welcome to a walk in the fat woman's shoes. Tonight I am eating homemade keto jambalaya. Homemade keto jambalaya. And um, I'll tell you about it in a little bit. I'm drinking on that good old H2O. But y'all know, I don't have no ice in Big Girl. But y'all know Big Girl. Big Girl will do what? Save you and you and you and you. In a crisis, yes, yeah, she will. Yes, yeah, she will. And how to get a big girt, a big soul, or a big baby will be in the description box below. So you owe it to yourself to go and do it. They, she, they are from the coldest water. So y'all go in on check out the coldest water, and y'all go in on pick y'all up a big girt, a big soul, or a big baby. Oh, my hair trying to run away from me. Anyway, y'all, <clears throat> let me see my grace and I get into it. God is good. God is great. Thank you for the meal. I to receive. Bless your name. Bless your prayers. Good meal. Amen. Amen. So what's going on with you guys tonight? What's going on with you guys tonight? Let me know what y'all eating. And if y'all eat with me, also let me know what's going on in y'all nigga woods. How'd you watch the training? And what y'all did today? Y'all know I want to know because I am nosy. So um, I know before anybody asks, I don't, y'all see, I don't have the braids in my hair, but I know if y'all see my eyes, I've been dealing with this headache for the longest and I don't take uh, I don't take like Tylenol or anything like that I just deal with it so basically you know stuff tight on my head I just I just can't have tight stuff on my head and my wig my braid wig was kind of tight on my head I, that wasn't the cause of it because when I took it off I still had the headache so you know I can't say that's the cause of it but even so um it was it was still tight on my head this wig and my gray wig they're not as tight but even so still um i started to just come to y'all just bare you know like i like i am you know but i wanted to put a wig on you know i wanted, I wanted to look nice for y'all i did i wanted to look nice for y'all i don't have on any makeup and let me tell y'all about that it's not even a makeup situation it's the lashes I don't know if I could wash my lashes or whatever, but I had, oh, uh, uh, come on now. I don't know if I could wash my lashes or anything, but what I did was, I, after I took them all, I put them on tissue. I just put them on tissue. See, I ain't used to wear lashes because, you know, I have lashes, so I didn't feel the need to wear lashes then, you know, so uh, I put them on tissue. I closed them up. I didn't think anything of it, you know what I'm saying? So I just, you know, you know, put them on my bathroom counter, you know, after I put them on the tissue and close it up. Sorry, y'all. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, we've been running all day and stuff, so, you know, I'm kind of tired, kind of sleepy. Anyway, and when I went to do uh, the live, that's when I realized. Go mm. ahead, girl. I'm girl. That's when I realized <laughs> that they were stuck. Because I went to open it up. And that lash went with <laughs> went with the tissue. I'm like, oh, uh -uh. I said, let me take it off. My son was like, uh, mom, you want, uh, uh, they ain't coming off. <laughs> I'm like, well, dang. I said, I wonder if I could wash it. He said, how would I know? I, he said, I ain't no girl. I don't know. I'm like, I know that. I'm just saying. I wonder if I could wash it. So, that went my, um, that went my lash. Now, the store we went to today, I'm not going to tell y'all. I'm going to wait till me and my baby doing the video together. And I'm gonna let, we're going to let y'all know what store we went to. But even so, the store that I went to today, they didn't have no lashes. So I couldn't, uh, couldn't get nothing else. Yeah. Hold on. Y'all want some big old shrimp? No, it's big old shrimp. 
He's a super colossal shrimp. I did a video of this. It's going to be out tomorrow on the Keish TV. Mm. I'm going to try and put the link in the description when it come on. So if y'all want to see it, there y'all go. I decided to um not do the taco challenge until Tuesday because for the simple fact that Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, might as well do it then instead of doing it today. You know, and ain't no Taco Sunday. So, but even so, I mean, it's Taco Night anyway. It's Taco Night somewhere, you hear me? But even so, coming in, you know, all that running we did today and stuff, you know, I just, I was like, I'm going to just make this call it a day. And this didn't really take no time. Didn't take no time at all. I'm sorry, y'all. Sorry. How y'all doing? I want to know. I want to check on y'all. See how y'all doing? What's going on in y'all heads? You know? How you feeling? Are you okay? Are you good? Because I know a lot of us are not good. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us are not okay. Sorry, y'all. My bra keep wanting to show. We're not okay. A lot of us aren't okay. A lot of us are not good. You know? Like that and everything, so it doesn't hurt. That's somebody. How they feeling? I didn't used to be the person you can come talk to. I talk to you, but. It was like, well, I got to go. I got to go. You know, I was when I was younger. But now, if you need to talk to me, reach out to me. You know, I'm here. You know. That's how I am now. And then go for any of y'all. Y'all can email us, you know. If y'all want to talk to us or ask us something or whatever it doesn't matter just know we pray for all of y'all all of you cats out there we pray for y'all you know cause with all of this that's going on we can't do nothing but pray. You know, keep our heads up, keep ourselves afloat. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? I don't want to bring the video down, you know, by talking about that and everything. But I just want to know how you doing. How you feeling? Is you good? Is you cooking? What's y'all cooking? But me and Lonzo like to do the TikTok uh, thing with the cooking. But our version, I 
our version is slightly different. If you name it with the cooking, I'm mean, I'm cooking some chicken, you know. I'm not gonna give it away because I um, I think one day me and him go put that up. <laughs> Ma'am. I still got that big shot pineapple, y'all. I wanna bust into that so bad and I was gonna bust into it um Saturday. Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, whatever happens, but Alonzo, being my trainer, he was like, Nanny, Nanny, don't you touch that cold drink, Nanny. I said, what? He said, I'm your trainer, right? I said, yeah, baby, you're my trainer. He said, don't touch that cold drink. Don't touch it. You just drink it some water. You don't drink nothing else, no juice, no nothing. I said, boy, I just bought me some strawberries lemonade. He was like, well, Nanny, don't you touch it. I'm like, uh-uh. Okay. I'm your trainer and I'm gonna train you. I'm making sure you know that way. I got my baby. I called him. Early because he, he he went on the deal. And you um, I miss him already. I do. I really miss my baby. You know. It's like one of your children going by the daddy, you hear me? But our child going home to his mama and daddy, you hear me? But still, I can't help but miss him like my child. Y'all, my people, we're supposed to come today. When she did a call, went to stall them. That's why they ain't come. She said, well, I'm going to try to make it this week. And my cousin Del, if she said, oh, I'm going I'm to try and make it, she made it sell. Yeah. I said, if you bring me a surprise, just do it. Don't say it. Because I don't like surprises. I really don't. I don't. Every time somebody in my family says, oh, I got a surprise for you, something bad always happens. So I don't like surprises. And it don't have nothing to do with superstitions or anything. It's just the fact that if y'all have seen how in my family, when somebody say, I got a surprise for you, something bad happened, I know that's, that happened. This is so good, y'all. No, this is really, really good. I have to really get myself a high five. Stronger. Mm. Don't do that, because, you know, my headache is off and on. But if I do too much shaking my head or, you know, talking too loud, like, oh, you thought you thought we was done, nah, black. So, you know, I gave myself the high five. Give you know, a high five. <laughs> but, I didn't leave that long. <laughs> this is good. I'm gonna go here. I'm leaving the phone. Shrimp right down. I put them on some bread and make a sandwich. I bought y'all. I bought um uh, 
I really chewed and trust. I bought um some keto bread. I bought it before, but I bought another kind, a different kind of keto bread. So I'm hoping that this keto bread is better than the other one that I bought. Cause y'all, I'm telling y'all. The other keto bread that I bought. And that's all I'm gonna see. Excuse me, y'all. That's all I'm gonna see. I also bought uh, some, what is it, cauliflower. Well, I don't get about mine. Anyway, I bought some cauliflower wraps, like tortillas, whatever, tortilla shells. So I wanna do, I wanna do a burrito but I want to keep it as healthy as possible. Cause I'm telling you, I saw Steph and Tasha do the, uh, I believe it's a wet burrito. That is look good. It's all get out, you hear me? Oh, and congratulations to Tasha from Steph and Tasha. And uh, I'm not gonna tell y'all why I said that. I'm just gonna say, y'all go check the video out that came out today, you know? Um, and I'm pretty sure y'all know who Steph and Tasha is. So, and if y'all didn't catch the video, y'all go catch it. I ordered my Nini Eats sauce. And my son piggybacked and ordered me another one. I'm like, baby, I done bought this five times. You know this is the truth. And you know what? I also got to get uh, my girl Keto Delicious Nut Sauce. Because guess what? I'm going to be got hers three, three times. But guess what? They all gonna catch up because guess what? Them sauces is the truth. I'm telling you, if y'all have not tasted these ladies' sauces, y'all need to go check them out. And I love, you know, I love like helping my sisters out. If I can promote y'all sauces wherever, however, I'm gonna do that because I really want to see y'all on the cooking network or even food network. You hear me on somebody's TV promoting your shit, making your bills. You hear me. And that, that go for everybody. Like, flavors by Dane Dash, we already know V got hers on lock, you hear me? On lock, you hear me? You know, I want to I wanna see, you know, the rest of us, you know, getting that, you know? I also want to check out uh, Rhonda's red sauce, her, uh, her uh, seasoning. I want to try her stuff. I mean, I want to try everybody's stuff. You know what I'm saying? I want to get lips and hot sauce because I'm trying to build up my heat tolerance. I don't want the real hot one because, Lord, I'm telling y'all, if y'all saw that video, I don't know when was it. It was last week or the week before when production had to eat the hot sauce with the um with the uh, watermelon or oh, poor production, poor production. Lord, I felt so sorry for him. I couldn't help but laugh, but I felt so sorry for him. That, oh, he was like, oh, no, you gave me that. Even I don't know. Mm -mm. I want the hot sauce, but I don't want the extra hot. No, no, I don't want that. Or like my baby, like my daughter said, extra. I don't want the extra. Mm -mm. We were so, y'all, let me go ahead and get up out here. I didn't talk to y'all, hey, you know. It's, it's almost 20 minutes, y'all. I love y'all. Y'all be blessed. Thank y'all for coming in, watching and rocking with the girl. Until next time, I'm going to plant you down and dig your leader. Because I know y'all can pick up what I just put down. You hear me? Peace. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Peace.